do it, narrator. Welcome, super sleuths, to Mad Hen Plays. S uh, Secret of Cape West. Yes. Glorious, welcome back, Super Sleuth. Shut up, narrator. Sucks. The name's Kyle Hyde. I'm, I'm a salesman for a two-bit company called the Brent Crown. Quit my detective job in Manhattan and got the hell out of Dodge about four years ago. On the surface, Red Crown makes deliveries, household goods, nothing exciting. Behind the scenes, the boss has a little racket going on the side. Find certain things that people don't want found. And that's where I come in. I travel to places, look for things. I'll be all dazzling lights, and I'm not gonna hang it up just yet. And then again, 1980. The day Ed finally grew up here and sent me on my way. Dragged my sorry ass to the dump that uh, I'm used to calling home. So, unlike unlike um, Hotel Dusk, each chapter is divvied up, divvied up into days, not just hours. And oh, this guy! They're pants. The, he's uh, okay. He's a musician, <laughs> but he's one of those penniless dupes that that'll like, that'll rip you off. He's not like oh. Louis. He's he's similar to Louis, but. But Louis, Louis had a lot more going for him. Oh, he is maximum con artist. Except, except that no, Louis is still a con artist. Louis is still max con artist. This guy, like, technically speaking, doesn't have a uh, a horse in the race the same way Louis did. Mm. Mm. Okay, but he does play a big part. So if you want to be him, I'm not gonna. Yeah, is nope. that? Uh... 
Oh god. And this asshole. Alright. Hey, Tony. So, do you want to be him or should I be him? Ah! Uh, you go ahead and be him this first time. Okay. Um. Blub. <laughs> Alright, I'll give him a surfer type of fun. <coughs> hey, man, if it isn't Mr. Hyde. Long time no see, primo dude. Long time? What the hell are you talking about? Then what? Three days since we last bumped into each other, brother? Uh, trust me, seeing you uh, once in every three days is, is plenty. Oh, come on, man, you're killing me here. Don't be so cold, dude. Yeah. I do like this music. I do like his music, though. Yeah. Guy's name is Tony Wolf. A musician who lives across the hall. Not exactly a platinum seller, though. And unlike, uh, he's not a, he's not a true wolf. Not like, uh, not like Frank West. You know, I might, instead of two cyberpunk videos, I might just do one and one Dead Rising. Anyway, schedule f uh, full of free time, broke to boot, living the free and easy. Uh, just pass a dame with sunglasses on the way in. Friend of yours? <laughs> that classy, bodacious dude with the big hat. No, me amigo. No friend of mine, hombre. Doesn't live here neither. Came to visit someone, I guess. Hey, dude, at least. Well, I think she lives here anyway. Maybe she doesn't. Man, I need some pizza. What the guy? <laughs> Uh, okay. Real helpful there, Tony. Aw, oh, come on, bruh! You in love with her or something? You can tell, too. Come on. Tell me. Tell me. Yeah, shut up, look, I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, sure, brother. Give that, uh, give that brain cell of yours a rest, why don't you? Being in a rest, I got somewhere I need to be. Taking off already, man! Not exactly the chatty type, are ya? <laughs> no chit chat for your old pal, Tony. Uh. <laughs> um. He kinda does help you out while you're in a rough spot, so I don't wanna, like, be too pissed at him. Uh, but still. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Always been like this, Tony. What do you mean? Man, I thought we were best buds. Now, seeing as how I got to jail, Chris, I was gonna task you. Anyway, we've been tight since you invited me for dinner that one time. Invited? The only I recall, you barged away into my room, tried to chow down on my takeout. Oh, is that how it was? <laughs> Another man's food ain't the best way to make friends, you know, you asshole. Didn't realize you're taking it so hard, bro. I mean, who decides what's cool and what isn't between friends? Who decides what's cool and what isn't between friends? Don't you know, bro? That's what jail groups are all about. I describe you as many things, Tony. Friend ain't one of them. We're just, um, acquaintances. That's sir. Didn't have you pay for much of us uh, as much as I uh, never didn't have you pegged to such a cold hombre. I'm cold hombre. There's no one dealing with the likes of you. Oh, harsh, bro. I'm not a robot, man. I really <laughs> I should have given him a Tommy Wiseau voice. It's fun. I'm sticking with Surfer. Oh, what are you gonna do? Take a swing at me, Tony? You really want to, you really want your ass kicked? <laughs> you know, like you did Friday. Damn, Tony. Damn, it's all coming back to me. I told you I had a drink and it messed with my judgment. A drink. I'd say you'd have pretty, you pretty much drained the bar's reserves. 
you were drunk and on a mission. Had some funny idea about spray painting your apartment. So I stepped in to stop you. You saw a red wind for you. Bruh, is that what happened? Besides, I thought we put that incident behind us. By my count, that makes three times now. Just love, you just lose it when you drunk when you're drunk, Tony. And what's even the worst part is I always seem to get pulled into the fucking mayhem. Oh. Oh, I get it. This world never cause you any strife again. Cause cross my heart, man. <laughs> yeah, you and the rest. I have to why have I got a funny feeling that I'm deja vu right now? I ain't no fortune teller, but I predict I'll be hearing this next month. <laughs> For real, bro? Next month? <laughs> That's rich, dude. You know damn well there won't be any more of our little chats next month. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? What, found yourself something classier? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe fuck yourself. Seriously though, you're clearing out? Billy! I mean, it's not like I'm the only one. Wait, what the hell are you talking about? Try to keep more control over yourself from now on. Look, I gotta split. Uh, cause I'm supposed to check the mail? I think. Uh -huh. What was he saying? Are you for real? Next month that's rich. We won't, there won't be any more of our little chats next month. Why somebody else said to leave so suddenly? Yeah, okay. So now I get to talk to Tony and he breaks the, the big news. Uh, uh, quick question. What's up? God, I just want to dance to this. So, why are you so keen to leave all of a sudden? Bruh, are you kidding me? We all got that letter. Like, I have a fucking choice, bruh. Uh, um, Tony, letter? I'm talking about the letter Max Patrice sent out. Yeah, and I have to say Patrice in that inflection. It's all made plain and simple in there, dude. What letter are you talking about? You got the letter, right? We all got him about a week ago, bruh. Everyone in the building got one. First I've heard of it. Bruh, you haven't read the letter? And you call you me irresponsible. <laughs> Fuck you, dick. Hey, can it? What the hell are you talking about? Check your fucking mailbox! Why am I asking? Last time I snuck a peek, your packed your mailbox was packed solid than a, than my mom when she was pregnant with me after getting stuck with my dad's dick. <laughs> Let's just say I'm not the guy that uh has pen pals. Mail's another junk they don't deserve my time. Sloppy. Just fucked. You're lucky to tool down a job with that attitude, bro. <laughs> That's supposed to be a joke. Hey, what's my job got to do with it? You know what, let's get back on track. What exactly did this letter say? <laughs> Told us to gather our shit and get out. Just like that? No reason? Nothing? Well, our lovely landlady threw in the towel. Decided to sell the joint. Place is gonna be knocked down by what I heard. Fuck me, what a day. First Ed drops the ball and fires me. And now I hear this place is being sold. Are you goddamn kidding me? Okay, I'm uh, I'm gonna be Mags. I, I just, I have to say it. I'm gonna be Mags. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hello, fellows. There's a voice coming from. Looks like someone's coming down. Uh, hey, bitch. Oh no, I'm being hurt too. <clears throat> No, she's cool. Like, she's legit adorable, but, like, she's really ditzy. <clears throat> Hi, Teddy! Betty, bro, bitch, how you doing? 
trees. Margaret the Chase, aka Max, owner of Cape West Apartments, lives on the first floor. Took over when the police would run down a hotel and fix it up into apartments. And the locals, she's just known as Mags. I could have sworn I heard Mr. Wolf's voice a moment ago. Yeah, he was here, he just missed him. He was ranting about needing fresh air or some shit. Is that so? Oh, what a shame. No need to be a uh, inquisitive Irene, but uh, what do you mean? Mr. Wolf is not not being present. I was hoping to bring a pressing matter to the attention. So what's so pressing? You need to ask Tony something. I do. It's fairly important. Like what? Rent. Let me guess. Came up short. What? This is the fourth month in a row he hasn't settled his bill. I was going to ask him to clear his slate today. Typical, typical tone. Typical Tony squirming his way out of a financial situation. <clears throat> well, you got a problem there. I had hoped he'd be a little more forthcoming. After all, the rest of the tenants are such nice people. It's just Mr. Wolf, really. I suppose there's always one. Trouble does tend to follow. So now I need to find time to do the thing. Wait, what? Oh. Now sorry, I gotta tell you something. That was getting frustrated by. So sorry, I got upset. Oh, okay. While well, I have you, Mr. Hyde, there's a small matter of your rent, too. <laughs> not trying to pull over the wall. Not trying to pull the wall over my eyes, are you, Mr. Hyde? If memory serves, you have both last month and this month to pay. I appreciate this comes at a bad time with everyone getting ready to leave. But rent is rent. These apartments don't pay for themselves. Yeah, uh, of course. I'll expect for- oh my god, I wish. I can pay that price today and have a fucking apartment. Oh my goodness, four hundred dollars for no, not even that. He he hasn't paid for two months. So this means his rent is two hundred dollars a month for a single bedroom apartment. Yes. God, I wish I could pay those prices. Mm -hmm. I'll expect four hundred in total from you, Mr. Hyde. If you can make sure it reaches me by the weekend. That would be perfect. Sure, by the weekend, got it. There is one other tiny, insignificant, Mount Everest-sized matter. Another one? Concerning your mailbox. I know you're a busy man, but if you could spare a couple minutes and remove some of the clutter, it'd be most appreciated. I always check what I pass room 202's mailbox, and it's Flowing. Uh, Roger that. I'll make. I'll take a look. Yes, it's a lot like me at the end of the month. I mean, Aunt Flo just bursts out of everywhere. Anyway, much obliged, Mr. Hyde. Well, I think that's my cue to go and hit the old dusty trail. Uh, before you go, may I ask something? Anything. Uh, why does why sell all of a sudden? Ah, I knew. I had a feeling you'd ask. Originally, I had no intention of giving this place up. But, un unexpected things do happen sometimes, and it's complicated. Complicated how? Were you against selling the apartment? It's quite complicated. I'd rather not discuss it. Uh, why not? That's none of your concern, you fuck. <laughs> I'd be grateful if you could refrain from asking me again. Uh, uh, I still gotta ask. 
Is everyone behind on their rent? Well, if you come to think of it, but that's not the reason. Something else then, huh? Share it? Mr. Hyde, I really must protest. You are asking me all these questions. I feel I'm being put on trial. Well, not for nothing. Don't take it personally, it was a cop. Now, if you don't mind, I have nothing further to say on the matter. Yeah, so now I gotta look through my mailbox. Wait. Uh -huh. I'm being put on trip. What? I gotta talk to her again? I thought I didn't have to. But whatever. It has been well, whatever. Alright, I'll talk to her again. For a moment. What is this? Uh, look, sorry about before, I didn't mean to be rude or anything. I'm not out to upset you. Oh. You said that you weren't happy to share your reasons, but uh, I still, yeah, let my curiosity get the better. Uh, Mr. Hobbit. Very good aunt of you to say that, but I could have been more polite as well. It's not easy for a widow like me to take care of this place, you know. I, ch I can trust you understand that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Truth be told, my dad died uh, and left my mom a widow too. I'm sorry to hear that. <clears throat> yeah, trust me, your situation is not exactly alien to me. <laughs> it's nice to know there are still some understanding folk out there. Yeah, I noticed there's a lot of uh, demolition around these parts lately. Your predicament wouldn't be anything to do with that, would it? Well, can't say they haven't been hassling me a little, but that's not the main reason. <laughs> Kyle, seriously, she said just leave it alone. Why? Uh, but she also keeps dropping in. The, that's not the main reason, though. Yeah. Well, of course, she's still gonna be like. But about that main reason. Yep, right. So you're saying there is a cast iron reason behind it. I'm not going to comment. And I don't think you should be crying either. Please don't pay it any mind. Alright. I'm sorry things have turned out this way. I really am, Mr. Hyde. But I think it's time for me to be on my way, too. Max heads back in her room. Four hundred dollars this weekend. That's a tall order. I better not make. Better make a. Better make a note of it in my notebook. So I gotta like hit notes, and I just. Go <laughs> hard. Yeah. 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 Now can I switch the damn mailbox? This is 10 second floor. Oh, there you are. Oh, wait, no, that's third floor. Fourth floor, I guess it may be neglected. I mean, I'll cover back the tape. Third floor residence. Uh, as expected, it's full of nail. Better take a look at some of it. Welcome to the Puzzle Logic yet again, Captain K. <laughs> Can't remember the combination. I think I've got it written down, though. Uh, not exactly secure, but any theft to out of, out of here is a welcome to my bells. Uh, 771. Okay. Oh. Seven. Oh, wait. So do I just? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> hey. Wait, what? Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> so it's seven seven one. So I just gotta turn it left. So do I just seven? Seven. One. Yeah. Seven left, seven left, one right. That's what I did. Seven. And turn it again. Seven. One. Huh. That's not... Are you sure it's not... I, I, I think your rotation's the opposite way. So I gotta... Okay. Oh, okay. So I gotta... So... Wait. Wait. Hold on. So instead I just... And before the turning that you're thinking, the actual rotation has to go that way. You're doing it counterclockwise the way you were doing it. Oh, okay. So I just... Is this... Try... Try it basically the, op the opposite of what you... Because when you were doing that, I noticed that the rotation's going different from the direction that you're actually going. Oh, okay. So that, that's what it was. If you rotate it that way, it goes counterclockwise, but it makes it wrong. So you have to go the other way to make it rotate the proper way. Thank you, Captain. Been a long time. No problem. <laughs> it's third-person perspective helps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I gotta find the one with Max. Here we are. Eviction notice from the mail. Eviction notice reads, My dear tenants, after much deliberation, I've chosen to sell the property. The, one pl the new owner plans to have this building demolished, so it is, it is my unfortunate duty to inform you that you need to vacate at your earliest convenience. The information will be posted on the notice board with blood in the coming days. December 10th. Oh yeah, man, this arrived a week ago. <laughs> One envelope, bad news, fun milk, not nice. Brown envelope, it's special, an advert. Small white envelope, that's a, it's from a credit card company wanting to sign up for more plastic. Some lying on the floor. What the hell? Looks like it might not be entirely useless. Stash the flyer and the other letters. Pick up the man of mail and my shove it into my case. So. Yeah, it's just giving me the controls. Oh. Yeah. And that being said, seeing as how we're coming close to time, end it here, narrator. And there you have it. Tune in next week for Mad Hen Plays. Secret of Kate West. Means. What is it? Lost Window or Shattered Window? Who cares? It's still Secret of Kate West in this game. Fucking great.